So good morning, my dear students, staffs, and guests. So on behalf of KCG College of Technology, I welcome you for this webinar. So with this uh, short note, I would like to invite our uh, head of the department, uh, Dr. Motilal, to give the welcome note. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, so good morning to all. Uh, it gives me an immense pleasure uh, to welcome our uh, chief guest as well as today's speaker, uh, Mr. C. Prakash. Uh, so today's session will be very interesting because it's a much needed one. Uh, because at one point of time, uh, every day the vehicle usage is getting increased and the proportionately uh, emission also getting increased. And, uh, it also impact, it has an effect on the environment as well as the our health also. So government is taking uh, too much measure to regulate the emissions. We are uh, stringent on the bar stage norms and all everything. But still, uh, it's a great, it's a big issue to the uh, globally. Uh, so today research is going on on the post treatment process uh, and uh, modification in the engine and we are doing the research in the blending of the vehicle, uh, fuel, something. so many things are going on. But uh, still, uh, we are not in the safer zone. And uh, currently, we are moving to the electric vehicle. Uh, I don't know how much uh, it is uh, compared with the ice engines, whether the whether ice engine is going to exist or not in the future. It's a big question mark. Uh, whether the electric vehicle, uh, the, the resource persons are saying that uh, it's a uh, pollution-free, it's a green vehicle, something like that. Uh, I think uh, to generate electricity, we are basically we are using the coal. Uh, which pollutes the environment. So it's something like uh, we are throwing our cabbage to the uh, nearby house and saying that we are uh, we are clean. Okay. Uh, so the it's a big issue and uh, the today topic will be very interesting and uh, our uh, uh, speaker will be an expert in that area. Uh, so the students will, can have an interactive sections. So definitely he will be guiding you in the right direction and uh, you can learn him from the what are the real time problem, what are type of project we can do. So everything you can. Uh, have an interaction by means of interaction you can get it a uh, uh, sufficient uh, knowledge transformation will be there then. so i request once again i will request uh, mr nelson to read out the profile of the today's speaker so i welcome you sir thank you i'll, uh, I'll request that profile at the end of the session <laughs> okay okay sir okay, thank you i'll you the prakash ashok leland engine man so you know okay sir yes sir. We'll start so, the session. Yes. So I'm cutting out the video for giving bandwidth to see that. Yeah. So team, thanks for this opportunity. I thank the HOD and Sridhar for giving me this opportunity to speak to you all. Here, what I want to Welcome very the emotionally yeah. tell you is, see that your video shut off, Sridhar? No, sir. It's Are you pretty shut off? There is a button uh, in your left corner, sir. Uh, ah, the... Over the world. Okay. Ippo? Yes, sir. Okay. Ippo close it, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. I have a band with you, I have a band with you. Okay. So now, uh, how do I get the audience uh, team? Uh, that one, uh, man. Uh, you can see participation, sir. Uh, uh, you can see uh, who are participating. Uh, okay. Got it. I learned something today. <laughs> so, in the team, Lavande. Team, uh, team, I have my first message. Okay, I need the video for some time. Then I shut it off. I now I'm visible, see that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm starting my session. This is very important, especially to the young team. This symbol is accepted right over india north to south east to west now very very proudly we can say it's being accepted the world over even in the olympics olympics on the recent or foreigner foreigner introduced panna ipdi karan kuppi vanakam chana romba perumaya irundhadu 
So this is the thing, formal welcome. And I'll tell you why, why I would like to do this. However high you are and whatever profession you follow, you know, moving with one human being to another human being is the prime in life. So this is a form of greeting. This is a greeting or more. I hope a fair amount of people know Tamil. If you don't know Tamil, one of you, I want somebody to give me a feedback. Because I have this habit of going into Tamil, then one boy will be keeping quiet, very quiet, and asking, Purjan Gata, Ritali Adwa. Telling, sir, I don't know Tamil. Are you open your mouth and tell me, man? I don't know magic. See, once I was handling this session to a North Indian group. Then when I say Namaste, that boy be listen. And one boy got up and said, Namaste is actually only a short form. Namaste, the full form is Natmaskar Pranam. That is, I bow my head in reverence to you. Kal Udundu Vanangana Andamari. This Namaste is a very, very powerful greeting. But please understand, there's a methodology to do that. You have to put the folded hand in front of your chest. Don't do that. That is politics. And don't do this. This is cinema star. I'll tell you the right thing and I'll tell you the wrong thing also. This is how you do it. Don't do that. Do that and then you change your profession. Do this and change your profession. Can you have the next slide, please? Yes, sir. Okay, before going on to the next slide, I have one more appeal to the entire team. I think I have a strength of close to 30 people sitting here. In this, if any of you don't understand anything, please stop me then and there. You can either send a message, or you raise your hand, whatever it is, because each slide is a building block. The further slides will depend on these current slides. So I want you to understand every slide before going to the next slide. Statement number one. Statement number two, a lot of people have said, sir, I got a stupid question. I have corrected them saying, please, questions are never stupid. Questions are genuine. You want to ask something, you want to learn something, you're asking a question. Answers can be stupid. So feel free. Point three. In English, we have a word called ridicule. I don't know something. I want to do something. But I'm worried what my friend will think about me. Don't get into that mode. Feel free to ask me any question. Last important statement is more the topics we are going to discuss. Again, I repeat, the topics we are going to discuss are mostly known to you. What I'm going to do is in this session, there will be small gaps. I'll fill up the gaps. There will be small jigsaw puzzles out of place. I'll place them in the right position. That's the whole idea. So closing remark for this uh, before getting into the session is, this is not a one-way traffic. It is a discussion. It's not a lecture session. It's a discussion. Okay? Right. Now, let me shut off my video. Okay. I'll shut off my video. Now, I'm, sir, I'd uh, like to have... Sir? Yes. There are some students from Kerala and uh, some from north, northern part of India as well. So, okay, uh, okay. they would request you to uh, handle in English, sir. Okay, done, yes. done. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll uh, do that. Thank you for that feedback. So now I can see a lot of people here. And uh, I'm going to ask alphabetically. I have the first name called Brito Sabastiraj. Can you come on the line? Brito Sabastiraj. Come on the line. There's another person, Dark Knight. Ah, yes, sir. Brito, yes, sir. Come on the line. Yes, Can yes, I see sir, you, yes, Brito? Sir. Can I see you, Brito? I'd like to see yes. my team. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank sir. you, thank you. Thank yes, you. Good, 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 good. Now, look at this slide and tell me what you understand. So, panel member five of them seated over here for a function. Okay, good. Observation then. And then, as you said, Namaste. Where is Namaste? Be. Ah, okay, what okay, okay. There's a there's a picture of Namaste. Yeah, okay, picture. Good. Yes, yes. Uh, then Kuttivilakku. 
Uh, okay, good. Good. Kutu will English translate from here in Britoga. In our game, see the Chanaman, there is some North Indian and from Kerala. Kutu will may be understood. It's an oil lamp. Chalunga. Hmm. Down memory lane, 2014, 2004. Are Pranams to Dr. B.S. Murthy. Ah, wow. That's a, that is the highlight of that. Yes, See sir. there, what do you understand by this word pranam? Respect, sir. Giving respect. High level of respect. Yeah. Pranam is high level of respect. See, now uh, let me take on the rest of the story. Can you see five people sitting there? Yes, sir. And I'm the person sitting in the center. Yes, I'm sir. the person with the white shirt sitting in the center. And then Dr. B.S. Moti is the person with that tie, my engine's guru. So this also happens to be a session we handled for a college on 27th of September, which happens to be my birthday. All birthdays I spend in colleges. This is another thing I want to teach all you all. So I want all of you all to be very, very human. Being human is the first priority. So today, if I am standing in front of you or sitting in front of you and talking my head off on engines, the entire pranam goes to Dr. B.S. Murthy, who's IC engines head and professor of IIT Madras. Now slowly you'll start letting know about my background. I passed out from IIT Madras in the year 1977, specializing on IC engines. And all my life I've been an engine guy. I joined Leyland in the year 78 in engines group. I retired from engine group in 2011. So that's a full 33 years in engines, 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 engines. The first message I want to give all of you all is have a passion in whatever you're doing. I had passion. I followed my passion. Today, I am I'm able to talk my head off on that. Follow your passion. So pranams to Dr. B.S. Murthy, who's my guru, who has made me an engine man. Next slide, please. Okay. Now, Brito, could you, uh, Brito, could you identify a person? I want you to catch hold of a person for me. Maybe your friend, maybe not your friend. Brito? Yes, sir. Uh, catch, catch, pretty, 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 pretty. Catch somebody. Uh, rest of them students, sir. Uh, so what? All of us students, including me, I learned something today from uh, Sridhar. Okay. Abhishek Thomas. Okay, I can see. Uh, Abhishek Thomas, come on the line. Yes, sir. Can I see you, Abhishek? Huh? Can I see you? Um, I'm outside. So you're outside. Okay. When I say the word engine, what comes to your mind? I just say engine. Hmm. What comes to your mind? Um, cars. You have, you have a two-wheeler? You have a two-wheeler? Uh, no, no, no. I don't own it. You have a four-wheeler? No. Okay. Okay, tell me. What comes to your mind? The moment I say engine, what comes to What does an engine do? Uh, converts chemical energy around, to around, mechanical look slide, energy. Look slide. Yeah, that's what I said. Converts chemical energy to mechanical energy. So what's the fundamentally what's an engine? Huh? It's, uh, sorry, you're, correct. you're telling me the process. What is the what what's a, what sort of device is it? It converts chemical energy to what? Mechanical energy. Okay, good. That's all. So that is the process. So what's the name you'll give to that device? Converter, sir. That's all. What then? What converter? Energy. Energy converter, that's all. This is your, you're feeling shy and you're, you're worried about making a mistake. If you're worried about making a mistake, you'll never <laughs> go forward, man. Abhishek, okay. do you know how to ride a cycle now? Ah, yes, sir. How many times you fell down? 
a uh, lot of times lot of time but then you never you kept on getting up right yes that is the time when you did not have fear now we are getting yes. to a mode where you are worrying about it are don't worry about it ma see if you keep yes. on worrying that you'll fall down you'll never make an attempt keep going so fundamentally an engine is an energy converter which converts chemical energy into mechanical energy period that's all okay abhishek now you catch hold yeah. of somebody catch hold of somebody now catch hold of somebody for me uh oh from the list yeah ah okay 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 hmm come on come on come on Vign- fast vignesh k ah uh, vignesh k come on the line hello sir vignesh can i see you vignesh yes sir i'll be happy to see you i would like to see my team yeah thanks vignesh coming on the line vignesh tamil theriyuma ah theriyum sir சரி குமுதம் புக் படம் குமுதம் பாத்திருக்கியா குமுதம் புக் பாத்திருக்கியா இல்ல சார் சரி அம்புலி மாமா புக் பாத்திருக்கியா ஏய் டோன்ட் ரன் அவே டோன்ட் ரன் அவே see in the earlier i'll tell you the background this kumudam ambuli mama chanda mama this book you should have one chapter saying look at the picture and tell us the story vignesh for you please look at the bottom part of the picture and tell us the story all yours vignesh ya video cut pannta sir looking ugly hey looking ugly sir hey looking smart man no problem padam paathu kada sollu what is the bottom part of the slide look at that and tell me this story Number one, it was burning. Uh, Number two, gas. Wait, wait, wait. You just now we understood that the engine is an energy converter, chemical to mechanical. So how yes, many sir. steps does it take to convert chemical to mechanical? How many steps? Four steps. Sir. Okay, four steps. What are the four steps? Chemical energy, thermal energy, pressure energy. It converts uh, to mechanical energy. Uh, first, chemical to thermal. Okay. Yes, chemical to thermal are convert panna what is the process we follow burning process ah apdi sollu so first step is chemical to thermal by process called burning second step thermal to thermal energy to pressure energy it process goes to gas expands ah see pressure, pressure energy, energy. what is the next step pressure energy to what is the next step mechanical linkage no 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 before that see chemical to thermal then thermal to pressure right thermal to pressure and in between what happens mechanical engineering illa 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 that is the last part see first is chemical to thermal by process called burning yes, so when you burn something what happens to the uh, gas what what will happen to the gas pressure energy gas how why should the pressure energy come gas is expand or contract when you burn gas is expand or contract expand sir uh, good so when you have gas is expanding inside a closed container what happens to the pressure it sucks no 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 listen listen to my question carefully when you burn something gases will expand yes, okay sir. now if the gas is expanding within a closed container what will happen to the pressure will it increase or decrease increase that's all so i want you to understand these steps so now come again from the first chemical to thermal by a process called burning in it burning so then from the thermal to pressure what happens in between gas expands uh, gas expands because of gas like why should when the gases expand what happens if it's in a closed container because of pressure increase no no because of this expansion pressure increases 
Okay, clear with me. Okay. Understand which is the cause, which is the effect. Cause okay, is the action, and the effect is the pressure increase. So, what is the next step? Mechanical engineering. Ah, uh, so yeah, mechanical. What is the process that happens? What is written on the top box, middle box? Mechanical sorry. linkages. Linkages. I am not going to the linkages. Now it can be Conrad. Mm -hmm. Crankshaft, piston, gudgeon pin, ring, bore, whatever it is. All this I'm calling it mechanical linkages. And what's the yes, final sir. thing that comes out? Mechanical energy. Okay. Now, can you tell me this without me helping you? Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, chemical energy is converted to thermal energy hmm. in process of burning. Good. And thermal energy to pressure energy. Hmm. Hmm. It process gas expense between mm. the small container. Mm. The pressure was increased. Close, close container. Close container. The pressure was increased. Mm. So pressure energy to mm. mechanical energy. The mm. mechanical linkages was used. Good. Good. Thank you. Can you catch somebody else for me? Next yes, slide, please. <laughs> Sharon Chilean. Please come on the line. Sharon, come on the line. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't. Ah, oh, yeah. Vignesh, you are not Vignesh. Sir. Ah, Sharon, come on. Sharon Chedian, come on. I can see your name, but you're not unmuting. Inna Vignesh, Sharon, come on. Okay, sir. I will do alternate, sir. Ah, come on, come on. We have very little time. I got a lot of slides to go through. Tanish. All of you are ready. Huh? Tanish. Okay, Tanish, come on. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I see you, Tanish? Sir, my camera is not good, sir. It's blurry. Uh, doesn't matter, man. Blurred also, I like to see you, man. Come on, man. Okay, I sir. want to see my team. I want eye contact. Yes, sir. Just a minute. One minute, sir. Let me refresh. Just a minute. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I still can't see you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You look smart, man. What are you? What is there for you to refresh, man? You guys are already smart. No, okay, look not. at the picture and tell us the story. Tanishk? Yes, sir. Look at the picture and tell us the story. We understood that engine is an energy converter. There are three steps. Now, what 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 are the what is this? Tell me. What do you see? What do you observe? Sir, sir it's been told about the diesel engine emissions. Ah. We have a heading topic here. So as far as I concern here. We are going to see about uh, how the combustion works here and all okay. the phenomena. So, okay, let's concentrate on the left top picture. What is the left top picture? What do you see? So I can see a fire triangle over here. Okay, good. Yeah. When you say triangle, wait, wait, wait. I'll help you out. Triangle means how many sides? Three sides, sir. Okay, what are written on the three sides of the triangle? Look at it more carefully. See the yeah. on your zoom from the see there? Yeah, yeah. It's written oxygen, heat, and fuel over there. Uh, which is the uh, which is the order? Which is the correct order? Uh, uh. Yes, sir. Uh, correct order is ox uh, fuel first. Good. Then heat along with oxygen. No, we get no, 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 no. First is fuel. Second is oxygen. Okay, okay. Yeah. So first fuel, obviously. Uh. Then oxygen because oxygen helps burning. Then uh. heat. Then we get fire. Good. Now you understand the sequence. You'll yes. have to actually form a mixture. The yes, fuel sir. and the oxygen you'll have to form a burning, burnable mixture. 
then give it the thermal input. So let's say you have only the fuel and give the heat. Will it burn? Will it be burned, Tanish? Uh, yes, sir. Can I have the question again? If you have fuel and without oxygen, if you give it heat, will it burn? No, sir. It won't. It cannot. So the sequence is fuel, oxygen, then heat. Yes, then what are the on the right top? There are three pictures. Can you explain those three pictures? Yes, sir. In hmm. first picture, there's a candle placed under the glass, and it's been hmm. trying to be burned. Hmm. So uh, this is like a very old example, actually. So hmm. as the burning happens under the glass, it um, consumes all the oxygen under the glass presenting. As Good. soon as the oxygen is uh, like finished up, consumed up, the hmm. burning will stop, sir. The flame will shut off. Good. So okay. Then, what is the next one? So it concludes. Uh, if no air burning won't happen. Ah, next one. In Send the picture. Yeah, in second picture, there is a candle um, exploded to the air. So we have a sufficient amount of uh, air for burning, but mm. it looks like the candle is going to be ended. So there is no right. wax remaining. So there is ah. no. Correct. Good. What's the third one? And the third one, we have a candle burning, but the water is treated over it. So water. Okay. As we know, it will end up the uh, flames. So we don't have heat energy over there. So the burning won't happen. Good. So now, what is the message now? What uh, the message is for burning for the combustion to happen, we need sufficient enough amount and balanced amount of air and fuel mix. Yeah. See, I'll add a small correction for combustion for anything to burn. We need all three together. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we need. A balanced amount of air fuel mixture with the balanced heat, L okay. like sufficient heat to that. Good, 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 good. Now, yes, can you identify another person, your friend? Who's your next friend? Uh, let me check, sir. I the entire team, man. You identify your friends and keep. Yeah, uh, I would like to call Jonathan. Uh, come on. Good morning, sir. Good right. morning, Jonathan. Can I see you? Are you already on the video? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come, 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 Jonathan. Thanks for coming. Now, can you tell me the full story about the fire triangle without me prompting? Over to you. Sorry, sir. Tell the story of the fire triangle without me prompting you. Yes, okay, sir. So the fire triangle uh, it consists of three main. Uh, one is fuel, the first one is fuel, the second one is oxygen, and the third one is heat. So if we need to burn anything, if we need to burn a fuel or anything, all the three is important, sir. The first one is... Good. Air, sir, which is in left, uh, the three pictures which is in left side, the first one is air. So we, the first one is air. So we need, if we need to burn anything, Air is important, and the second one is fuel. So there is no wax on the thread in the fuel. I mean, in the second picture, so we cannot burn anything without the fuel. And the third one is heat. So we need heat to burn. So if, if there is no heat, it can't be burned. Good, good, good. Now I am giving a <laughs> listen. I'll give you a statement, then ask you a question. Then. What I'm going to say, I'm going to give out all this while we are talking only very simple terms. The first time giving a technical flavor, I'm going to call burning combustion. I'm going to call burning combustion. Now, uh, Jonathan, I heard you're very good in chemistry. I heard you're the topper in chemistry, correct? Uh, sorry, sir. No, sir. Don't feel shy, man. Don't feel shy. I heard you're topper. Welcome. How many types of reactions are there in chemistry? Chemical reactions. Sir, it's not good at chemistry, sir. I don't know, sir. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Chemical, how many types? It's a fundamental question. Fundamental how many types of reactions are there in chemistry? Basic types of reactions. Yes, Always look around, man. Mechanical engineers, we look around and we pick up data from the air. Look at the slide. You'll get a clue. Chemistry, how many types of reactions will we have? One, sir. Oxidation reaction. That is what is One, on the sir. slide. What is the other reaction? What is the opposite of oxidation? 
oxidation reduction sir well, that's all there are only two fundamental reactions you said it it's in your mind man jonathan i never gave you the answer i only gave you a small clue guys please understand all the data i am going to ask is inside your mind only thing is all closed so what when you say oxidation reaction what are you actually doing jonathan sir in oxidation uh what are you doing look at the picture sir uh, in oxidation uh we are adding oxygen sir in oxidation process that's all, that's all. see i am just i am making everything simple and fundamentals so oxidation is adding oxygen what is reduction then reduction is removing oxygen sir that's all please don't 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 consider anything more than that so what is oxidation adding oxygen so what is reduction removing the oxygen in order to not to burn that's all that's all that's all don't no more for the sense this is what we all make a mistake when we you know we are trying to cover up the uh, science answer or engineering answer with english oxidation two words only nothing more than that adding oxygen reduction means two words only removing oxygen register that in your mind you'll never forget it for your life okay sir so combustion is a oxidation reaction this is a statement i want to register in your mind combustion is a Jonathan, Oxi what reaction? Oxidation reaction. Oxidation reaction. Good. Now read the bottom two sentences. Then you will be thrilled. Uh, we cannot burn diesel. We can burn diesel air mix. Hmm. What do you understand? So if we have in diesel, we cannot burn only the diesel, sir. We we need we can ah. burn diesel with with the air and air mixture, sir. I mean the. Excellent. In lot say. <clears throat> let's say there is one drum of diesel 200 liters of diesel okay sir by magic i take one lighted lamp match stick into the middle of the 200 liters will the diesel burn yes sir because the oxygen is present How in the room will it burn there's no oxygen okay then it won't burn sir it cannot With burn it cannot burn it will be the flame will be just shut off yes sir so be very clear so that is the next step i'm reaching so i am making a statement i cannot burn diesel i can burn only diesel air mixture okay okay, okay jonathan can you identify another person john jonathan yes sir yeah sridhar let's move on to the next slide sridhar anush kumar yes ma'am who Jonathan, yes, sir. Okay, yes, can you come on the line? Yeah. Anamalai, can you see Anamalai? Anamalai, can you see you? Again, Jonathan has come on the line. Anamalai, Jonathan, your term is over. We'll give you a chance later. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Anamalai, Kano, catch up with the next person. Time is running. Guys, I will be handing, yes, hand, handing, hand holding with you. Come along. Don't waste time. Sir, can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Yes, sir. I told S. Manoj Kumar, sir. Ah, uh, Manoj Kumar, come on the line. Manoj, please come fast. Jonathan, Manoj is also missing. Next person, give ten seconds and catch hold of them. they feeling shy jonathan sir, ajay ajay alvis sir okay ajay come on the line ajay come on guys please come and participate guys this is only like a game the more you participate the more you will enjoy 
Okay. Jonathan, come back. Yes, sir. Yeah, what sort of chemical is diesel? Yes, sir, hydrocarbon fuel. Hydrocarbon. So, what are the elements in hydrocarbon? Hydrogen, oxygen, sir. Uh, not oxygen. Where does a hydrocarbon is what? Hydrogen and carbon, sir. That's all. Only H and C. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what did we understood? Combustion is what sort of reaction is combustion? Sir, sorry, sir. What sort of reaction is combustion? The burning, sir. Burning is a thermal reaction. Chemical reaction, what? Oxidation reaction. Oxidation. So we add uh, oxygen to H. What will you get? Sir, uh, after adding oxygen. Look at the oxygen. picture. Look at the picture. After adding oxygen. When you add oxygen to H, what will you get? Sir, uh, water, sir. Water, that's all. Only in the superheated steam. Okay, then you add oxygen to C, what will you get? Carbon dioxide, sir. That's all. So, theoretically, when you burn a hydrocarbon fuel, you should get water in the steam form and CO2. That is theory. Actually, what do you get? Look at the bottom four and tell us. Tell us what you can understand, Jonathan. I'll add. By adding oxygen to what is that? Okay, what are the four other pollutants you get? These are the pollutants. What are the four? Oxides of nitrogen, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, but particulate matter. Uh, okay. So what happens? What are the constant of uh, air? I couldn't get the question what you asked. What, what if you take air, what is inside air? What are all the gases inside air? Air, uh, oxygen, nitrogen. Okay. Okay. So what happens is the air, if you look at it carefully, it constitutes about 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen. So, the nitrogen combines with the oxygen to form NOx. This is one of the pollutants. Then, the theoretically, we should get CO2. But because of, you know, different uh, types of uh, insufficient burning in a diesel engine, I get carbon monoxide. So, this is the second pollutant. The third pollutant is hydrocarbons. HC is what I mean by partially burnt hydrocarbons. Okay. So, these are the three gaseous pollutants. NOx, all the oxides and nitrogen put together. Then I have carbon monoxide. Then I have partially burned hydrocarbon. What is the last one, Jonathan? Particulate matter, solid matter, solid materials. Good. The first three fellows, first three fellows are gaseous form. And the last fellow, particulate matter is carbon. Okay. Now let us say you're driving on the highway. Half a kilometer in front, you can see a car. What will be the color of the exhaust? Sir, uh, how, how would you be able to tell if a car has got a petrol engine or diesel engine? No, sir. Think, think, think. I just gave you a clue. Okay, would you be able to see the smoke? Uh, it's half a kilometer, sir. No, sir, I can't see the smoke, sir. Uh, most of the cars you can see the smoke, man. Petrol, diesel, you can both you can see. What will be the color of the smoke normally? Normally, in lightish dark color, sir. Black, la dark, lightish ah, black. So, ah, lightly black. So, what, what engine can it be? It can be petrol, sir. Sure. Not sure, sir. Sorry. Ah, can be diesel, sir. Who's this? There's a Kirti Rajan. What will be the what will be the car? Petrol it'll or diesel? It'll be a diesel. Why? Why do you get the why do you say diesel so strongly? Compared to petrol engine, only uh, diesel engine produce more exhaust. 
and the amount of carbon monoxide is higher sir yeah see it's not more exhaust volume of the exhaust depends on the engine capacity here the color is black why do you get that black color good 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 observation why do you get the black color so do the chemicals coming out like carbon monoxide so the clues in the picture the clues in the slide itself what gives it a black color Not CO2. Not CO2. Yeah, right. No, not HC. HC you cannot see. What is the fourth fellow? What is the fourth fellow? We just said solid. More CO2. Not CO2. CO2 is also colorless. It so is particulate. Because, because of the particulate matter, solid material, sir. Particulate. Good. Who said particulate matter? Who said particulate matter? Good. John. It is a particulate matter which gives you that black color. Okay, and why do you, why do you get black color? Is it actually, you know, cuts out light. That's all. Okay, thank you. Next slide, please. Okay, there is no comments on this slide. You can guys look at it for thirty seconds, then I'll move on. I'm giving you evidence. i'm giving you evidence that the pollution is not good for us okay now after having understood that pollution is not good for us let's move on to the next thing where i'm going to share some information on human effects uh jonathan can you identify one person jonathan yes sir sure sir Sir, Sherin Chilian. Okay, Chilian, come on the line. Okay, next person, Jonathan. Yes, sir. Uh, Abhishek Thomas. He never came earlier itself, feeling shy. Yes, sir. Uh, Danush. Ah, I think I saw that name, Danush. Danush. No. Ah. Uh, Last Mahdi one. Mohammed. Yeah, that is your name. Huh? Ma Mahdid Mohammed. Yes, sir. Yeah. Karan here. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah. So now, uh, uh, what is on the right top picture? Acid. Huh? So how does it affect us? Affects our. See, when we were young. Well, first time it rained. Did Ma Mama ask you not to go and play in the rain? Yes. Why? 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 See what will happen is the first time it rains, the ambient will have all these muck, all the pollutants. and the rain will wash it down and we'll get acid rain and the acid rain will come and affect your uh, eyes your skin and then your lungs this is what happens okay thank you thank you mahadev next slide please okay so now let's move on now carbon monoxide let's see how carbon monoxide affects us see oxygen reaches the brain by hemoglobin carrying the oxygen from the lungs to the brain hemoglobin has got a weak point hemoglobin has got a very high level of affinity for carbon monoxide so when carbon monoxide and hemoglobin come together what we form is what is called carboxyhemoglobin 
and this what happens is the hemoglobin starts feeding carbon monoxide to the brain and when you get carbon monoxide getting fed to your brain you have a various levels of uh, you know effects and finally it's death the most uh, you know worrisome part of carbon monoxide is it is colorless and it is odorless take care next slide please now this is particulates see particulates and hydrocarbons they have human effect very similar hydrocarbons also there are small particles very fine particles but particulate matter is much more coarse both of them join together and the affect our our lungs the lungs is the one which are affected straight away all these things take time now what i want you to do is i do not want you to take my words for granted i want your guys to go and cross check note down these key words particulate matter and this particulate matter is what is called it is cancer causing it is carcinogenic so make a note then later on you guys can go and google it next slide please yeah this is another picture a very painful picture i have added with the caption saying effect on children vignesh can you see the left bottom picture vignesh left bottom what do you see on the left bottom picture jonathan is what on the bottom sir Yes, what sir? is the left bottom? Left bottom picture. What do you see? Left bottom, the boy with this teddy bear, sir. Ah, uh, what is the boy doing? Sir, I think uh, he is putting mask. He is also the he is putting the mask no, no, no. for the bear. It's not a sir. mask. Look carefully. That's not a mask. Left bottom is that boy is using an inhaler. Inhaler. Okay, sir. So because uh, of uh, because of asthma like that, sir. I mean, correct, correct. Like, what is this boy's age? Like, what do you mean? Typically, that boy's age. So it, he may be twelve, eleven or twelve. That's all, yeah, sir. Eleven or twelve. At eleven or twelve, you need to use an inhaler. No, sir. So then understand. I'm giving you evidence. See, inhalers are normally meant for very elderly people. Yes, sir. So now this is the proof. Children are being affected. Thank you. Next slide, please. Yeah. So sir, actually, this... I read. Sir, actually, I read the article day before yesterday. So in yeah. that, they said that uh, because of India's air pollution, an average Indian's lifespan is reduced by nine years, sir. Okay. Take it seriously. Yes, sir. You judge it. You are at your age group. I want you all to question everything. But take a judgment. Take a call. It is proof. I'm giving you proof. The whole world is now struggling with excess of water. Yes, and uh, we have damaged we have damaged geography we have damaged the planet and this is exactly what you are here the planet has been damaged take care guys i think your average your age group will be about 20 you got a long way ahead in life take care and wake up now next slide please yeah now after having understood that the pollutants coming it out of a diesel nox hc co and pm are uh, harmful for the human being they also damage the planet let's plan to start correcting it for correction first we have to understand how they are generated so nox nox actually i mean is all the oxides or nitrogen put together nox and nox we have different uh, types of generation the prominent generation is thermal nox because of high combustion temperature so make a note nox is generated because of high combustion temperature okay next slide please yeah here again nox is nox is i am trying to control nox if i want to control nox all that i need to do is i have to drop the combustion temperature when i drop the combustion temperature what will happen is a nox generation will come down and it's only a threshold point 
so there are fundamentally and you know uh, bookish methods of correction first is what's called injection timing retardation when the fuel actually comes into the cylinder when i started my career the fuel was introduced into the cylinder at 30 degrees before top dead center and the fuel injection systems have improved and today i am introducing the fuel at top dead center it's been retarded 30 degrees okay next slide please okay now today's topic itself was the government norms and how we are working as a team to try and reach the norms now bharat state 6 was implemented in india april 1st 2020 at bharat state 6 level the nox level is very low i have a later on i have a table i'll show you that so what we need to do is we not only need to do injection timing retardation additionally we have also what to know we have to do what is called egr exhaust gas recirculation jonathan you have any idea what is egr jonathan could you tell us sir exhaust gas recirculation good so what do you do more quantity of sir it's a small quantity of burnt exhaust gas is measured cooled and put back into the cylinder sir good you are reading from the slide good yes sir <laughs> when this gas goes no problem no problem we are only discussing it take guidance yes sir when this gas goes inside now let us say normally in the suction stroke what goes inside a diesel in a diesel sir. engine suction stroke what goes inside Your and no, no, only air, only air. Guys, there's a small correction I'm doing. In a suction stroke of a diesel engine, only air goes in. Okay, and the fuel will come in later in the compression stroke. Only in the petrol engine, the air and fuel come in together. There's a small correction. Again, I repeat. In a diesel engine, air alone comes in into this cylinder in the suction stroke. and the fuel comes in later in the compression stroke only now let us take there at one case number 1 where air is fresh air is coming into the cylinder case number 2 i have air and 10% burnt gas which will have higher oxygen concentration jonathan fresh air sir fresh air will have higher concentration no when uh, when will the burning be better higher concentration or lower concentration concentration ha huh? higher concentration good good so when the air oxygen is higher you get higher temperature but when you mix the burnt gas what the oxygen concentration will be lower kirti when you mix the burnt gas oxygen concentration comes down right yes sir so what will happen to the burning temperature it will raise no it will come down see what happens when you reduce the oxygen will the burning be better or lower get it over sir all over so what will happen to the temperature it will be reduced sir so that's all so that is the sequence see when i add burnt gas the oxygen concentration comes down the burning temperature comes down the nox level comes down you are clear anantaraj can you say something can you add something yes sir clear sir okay. good thank you next slide please okay now we are taking care of nox nox we understood is because of high combustion temperature we retarded the timing and we also had that egr exhaust gas recirculation so let's look at the other three guys hydrocarbons carbon monoxide and particulate matter now these are generated because of incomplete combustion okay i'll tell you what now when the fuel comes in into a diesel engine it comes in the form of a liquid jet we also understood 
that to form a fire triangle i have to convert the fuel from a liquid to vapor then only the vapor and vapor will mix a mixer will form then only i'll get ignition so here what i'm let me explain in a diesel air alone comes in into the cylinder in the suction stroke late in the compression stroke the fuel is coming in into the cylinder in the form of a liquid jet in the form of a liquid jet then because it is liquid fuel and air will not mix so the first process that will happen is it will it will be converted to vapor and that process is called atomization conversion of liquid to vapor is called atomization so now the air is in the the oxygen is in the gaseous phase the fuel is in the gaseous phase then only they'll mix and once they form a mixture even then i don't get immediate combustion i will get what is called i have to go through a small period called chemical delay then only ignition now because all these processes take physical time i am not able to complete combustion that is why i get hydrocarbons carbon monoxide and particulate matter sedraman would you like to make a try on this sedraman how it is generated sedraman tanesh could you like to try next slide Sir, please who wants to try so uh, may i have the question yeah this slide can you explain this slide that's all okay sir so it's been said about the diesel engine uh, emissions uh, here we have told what are the em emissions and the amount of gases uh, emitting out from the exhaust from the diesel engine so as we have written here diesel engine uh, it has incomplete heterogeneous uh, air fuel mixture so as we go ahead diesel air alone aspirants uh, fuel injected late into uh, compression stroke okay so as you told sir uh, we have some uh, unburned gases entering along with the air so we have uh, less amount of oxygen over there and incomplete uh, burning so like kind of uh, reduce uh, re reduction in the temperature so for that we use heater plugs over here am i right sir Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So, Next slide, please. Okay. So now, once we are taken care of the NOx, now let's take care of the hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and PM. To reduce these three pollutants, what I need to do is I'll have to improve the mixture formation inside the diesel engine. If I want to work on the mixture formation, what do I get? What are the two things that go into an engine? one is air the other is fuel that's what i have just said air management and fuel management on the air side i could play around with the quantity i could either increase the quantity or reduce the quantity then i could play around with the turbulence more mixing or less mixing that's all and on the fuel side i got three parameters where i can work on one is the fuel injection timing the second is the pressure and third is the quantity so let me again repeat they want to reduce hcco and pm i have to improve the mixture formation inside a diesel engine let's look at what goes into an engine there are only two things that go into an engine air and fuel see air i can play around with the quantity increase or decrease the quantity turbulence that is increase or decrease the mixing capability on the fuel side i got only three parameters timing fuel injection pressure and the fuel quantity next slide please okay now on the quantity on the quantity we have a small thing would you like to have high quantity or low quantity tanish yes sir would you like to increase the air quantity inside the engine or reduce the air quantity uh, as now we have uh, known that we have some burnt gases over there with uh, low low oxygen so we have to increase sir you not change your mind 
um as now i have concerned with this sir. <laughs> okay okay don't see if you increase the air quantity what will happen to the oxygen and nitrogen quantity ah okay got it increase ah uh, they will increase then okay. when you have higher air will the burning be better or lower burning will be better or poor better sir better, better. so what will happen to the temperature more temperature increases increases good so what will happen to the nox it will increase too nox will go through the roof <laughs> yes sir so so we have to say see what i have written the air quantity is how much air quantity air quantity should be optimum it should not be it should be just sufficient too much of air you know it will hurt me in the nox so guys please be clear air quantity has got to be just sufficient then air quantity i can work around the inlet system i can work on the inlet manifold tuning then i can work on the valves valve train mechanism then i work on the turbocharger next slide please <clears throat> okay this is a valve timing diagram in the valve timing diagram see what we do is we work on the valve profile we work on the valve diameters valve opening and the valve lobe shape to de determine which is the best optimum point for emissions so it's a huge exercise given time later we can have one day a session on valve train tuning next slide please okay two valves per four valves now how does two valves and four valves compare would anybody like to make an attempt so according Guys, to the tell me what we know we'll add we'll just discuss no problem okay so let's say you take a cinema hall a cinema hall you know has got four doors and people come in and go out by this four doors two on the left and two on the right now let us say on the right side where you are going towards the car park instead of having two doors if we have four doors will it be better tanish yes sir obviously be... yeah carry on yeah it will be better because the flow of people will be uh, more so there won't be same crowd thing. first do, uh, single correct, door correct 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 same thing happens here so that is why from two valves we have gone to four valves two for inlet and two for exhaust next slide please ah uh, turbocharger okay this is a chance for you all to tell me about that anybody anybody knows about turbocharger can you tell me Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. A turbocharger actually uh, is located in most, almost all the diesel engines, and it's been installed in nowadays in petrol engine also. So the basic work of turbocharger is to get the exhaust air, to get the rotational movement, and to have um, more inlet, uh, to give more inlet air, sir. It gets the air correct sends to uh, inlet port. Good. now i'll just finish up see it is not the exhaust here it is exhaust gases the exhaust gases have got pressure energy this high pressure gas comes in rotates the turbine wheel and then goes out that's all the job of the exhaust gas which has got pressure energy is to rotate the turbine wheel and then go away the turbine wheel and the compressor wheel are mounted on the same axis the moment the turbine wheel spins the compressor wheel also will spin so what the compressor wheel does it sucks in it's only a centrifugal compressor it sucks in air from the ambient compresses and delivers it into the engine now we also said we want optimum amount of air now this uh, optimization we do it by a mechanism called wastegate the one on the top the picture on the left top you can see a rod that is the wastegate arrangement see what happens is when i have a wastegate turbocharger 
I can match the air quantity very precisely at low speed, mid speed, and high speed. Good, good, Tanishk. Your explanation was good. Only thing I'm making smile is not exhaust air; it is exhaust gases, and they have pressure energy. Yes, sir. And Thank this you. one is only a centrifugal compressor. Thank you, Tanishk. Good. Next slide, please. Ah, this is the this is the turbo matching. In the turbo matching, see there on the left to parang konje zoom parangga see there. And the arrow marker ko parang ande and the pachcha arrow ad konje zoom parangga. Nila arto parang bhi dice. Oh, you the PDF lor ko. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful. Na konje ah, nila konje ang parang. Okay, here what happens is the there is a turbocharger where i have a turbine housing and a compressor housing i have a turbine wheel and a compressor wheel i match it now what normally happens is i get insufficient air at low speed and too much air at the high speed then by using the waste gate i tune it i cut down on the exhaust energy and try and match the air quantity So fundamentally, a turbocharger is correct. It uses exhaust gas energy to run a turbine wheel, and use drive a centrifugal compressor, which sucks in air from the ambient, compress and delivers it to the engine. So the waste gate is used for fine tuning the air quantity for the entire band of the engine speed band of the engine. Next slide, please. Yeah, so this is the different types of turbochargers. Initially, we had a turbocharger, the one on the left, a normal turbocharger that is a compressor inlet, and then and we have a waste gate at the left bottom, left bottom. That's a waste gate, correct? That is a waste gate. Then I have a compressor. Guys, when you look at a turbocharger, you want to identify which is the compressor side and which is the turbine side. the compressor is of aluminium or aluminium alloy and the turbine will be of cast iron that's how you identify the turbine side and the compressor side now we have made improvements on the turbocharger on the right side you see what's called a reentrant turbocharger the reentrant turbocharger again is like matching the air quantity for the full speed band of the engine no compromise so the one on the left is a turbocharger the one on the right is what we call a reentrant turbocharger next slide please yeah now we understood sorry, sorry, is there any difference between the both sir yeah there is a difference see the earlier slide see that please ha ah. see here look if i can zoom pannunga and the compressor entry point zoom pannunga illa illa sorry yeah yeah beautiful una konja mele scroll pannu ah una konja poda una konja right rendu onna theriyira mari kaaminga ah beautiful beautiful guys look at this on the left you can see only one one circle but look on the right you can see one annulus can you see inner ring and an outer ring that is why it's called a reentrant turbo and this is fine tuning the air quantity see we have come to very high levels of fine tuning air quantity every 100 rpm i'll have to take and then match it so this is the difference one on the left is a turbocharger the one on the right is a reentrant turbocharger thank you next slide please so reentrant turbocharger la unnu adikuma air irukuma sir இல்ல இல்ல அதிகம் கிடையாது சி நார்மலி இன் அ நார்மல் டர்போசார்ஜர் ஐ will be able to fine tune it at 1000 engine rpm 1600 waste gate operation and 2000 will be a turbine wheel uh, uh, finalization but when i have a reentrant i can uh, fine tune the air quantity every 100 rpm because mm-hmm. i'll tell you a very good question see i'll tell you why from earlier we had what is called steady state emission cycles we had rated speed and we have intermediate speed 
But when we came to Bharat stage four and Bharat stage six, we started getting dynamic cycles, and we had to do a air flow, air and fuel matching right through the speed band. So that is why all these fellows will come in very useful. Good question. Next slide, please. Okay. Now we move on to the air part. Is it turbulence? Or uh, turbulence? Now I can see Prasad. Prasad. What do you understand by turbulence, Prasad? So turbulence means will it pour nectar for the rapid or will it pour nectar? Will it add the mixture? The air will be uh, moving steadily, or will it be having some uh, rotating energy? Just like motion, sir. Ah, uh, why? Why do you need the rotating energy? For so that, uh, full uh, combustion, I mean. उंड so the fuel and air will have to mix when the turbulence is higher will the mixing be better or lower will be better sir better anal higher turbulence anal romba higher than a problem so that's why even the turbulence has got to be optimized too high a turbulence is not good too low a turbulence is not good okay so we have to optimize it this is what is called engine tuning here the view is the fuel is coming into the cylinder And it's coming into the combustion bowl by four jets. Prasad, I have a question for you. The turbulence is in. Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? The turbulence motion. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Huh? Clockwise, sir. Look at the picture and tell me. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise, sir. 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 Clock Good arrow is that's a very obvious a geometrical clue, but look at the sprays. Look at can you see the four jets? Prasad, can you see the four fuel jets? Yes, sir. Ah, at yes. the end, at the end of the spray, where is the which side is the spray bending? Anti-clockwise. Ah no, look carefully. It is clockwise. See that? Can you zoom? Can you see that? Can you zoom? Can you? डायरेक्शन Yes. Guys, become observant. I'm, I'm, I'm training your mind how to be observed. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. So turbulence has also no, should not be very high. Turbulence should be just insufficient. If I have too high a turbulence, the sprays will start touching each other, and that is what is called spray overlap. I get into trouble again. Next slide, please. Okay. Yeah. Now, how do I optimize the turbulence? Optimize the turbulence. One of my main parameters is the air inlet port. Air inlet port. We have got two types. One is called the directional port. The other is called the helical port. Earlier designs all had the uh, inlet port in the cylinder head as directional ports, but nowadays all the ports are helical ports. Helical ports are much more, you know. Easy for manufacture. Next slide, please. Okay, and this is the combustion bowl. Yeah, see combustion bowl is. You look at it carefully. Uh, all the combustion bowls we are using now is what's called a re-entrant type of combustion bowl. And the left part on zoom part, you see that. The left part on board. Ah, left. Ah, good. Do a pause, 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 pause. Aula na, aula na, aula na. Guys, why it's called a re-entrant bowl is the 
diameter of the bowl at the top is small but the diameter of the bowl lower is bigger so as the air comes inside the air is trapped inside and it doesn't go out so the air will not go out and that's why it's called a reentrant combustion bowl and today i'll tell you what we are working with such fine clearances when the piston reaches the top during the compression stroke the gap between the cylinder head and the piston is 1 mm in the cold condition the gap between the top of the piston and the top bottom part of the cylinder head in cold condition engine cold condition is 1 mm we are working with such fine clearances at that level when the piston comes up in the compression stroke all the air is compressed and brought into the bowl and it keeps the air inside the bowl that's why it's called a reentrant bowl so what's the benefit just by changing the shape of the bowl we got a clear 10% reduction in smoke next slide please a very important slide this is the emission standards the last two column thedira mari zoom pannunga sridhar bs4 and b illa illa adutha side paitinga adu konja mela vaanga ah podum 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 adu appadiye zoom pannunga onnu konja அவ்வளவுதான் <laughs> the first row is actually in nox grams per kilowatt hour second one is uh, hc third is carbon monoxide fourth is particulate matter please make a note of this nox has dropped from 3.5 to 0.4 and particulates has dropped from 0.02 to 0.01 there are more zeros than digits hc and co i tend to ignore prasad can you tell me what are the values have you noted down setraman sir you could ask me sure could please sir Have you noted down the values? Mm, yes. Sir. Only these ten: BS4, BS6, 3.5 to 0.4, 0.46 to 0.13, 1.5, 1.5, 0.02 to 0.01. Nox, HC, CO, and PM. Okay, now see that mono slide can under see that. Yeah, thank you. This is the 92 la Nox. 92 la. Nox is 18. Ah, yeah. Nox is 18 and 92. 2020 la is 18 and 92. 2020 la is 18 and 92. It's about 0.4 grams per kilowatt hour. Drop is 18 and 92. Drop is 18 and 92. Drop is 18 and 92. so from 92 to 2020 it is close about 20 years la we dropped it about 90% adey mari particulates parunga 92 la ab particulates kadaiyadu no requirement 2000 la parunga particulates 0.36 iruka yes 0.36 0.36 in the year 2000 2020 la evlo parunga 0.01 adu percentage kidathala 100% drop Hmm. but now what it is so the main thing is we are still using the old cars we are using the still the old vehicles see what is happening is 
you know these uh, new cars and new vehicles are low polluting but numbers also low so they are not making an impact the damage is uh, one old vehicle is equal to 10 new vehicles so now what our one uh, one uh, old vehicle damages what 10 new vehicles will do but what we have is 100000 old vehicles and one new vehicle we we'll have to wake up all of us will have to wake up not only that i'll come to the end at the slide on the season yeah this is uh, in a steady state that is the engine left at idle and uh, the green and the last column uh, i guess it is uh, driving cycle illa ya enga enga on the bs3 bs4 and bs6 everything uh. is considered as a driving cycle they will have some driving cycle or uh, is it at steady state sir இது வந்து ஸ்டடி ஸ்டேட் நீங்க சொல்ற டிரைவிங் சைக்கிள் வந்து என்ன பண்ணனும்னா BS6 ல டிரைவிங் சைக்கிள் வந்திரும் ஓகே BS4 வரைக்கும் ஸ்டடி ஸ்டேட் இருந்துது ஓகே அதுலயே வந்து என்னன்னா நீங்க சொல்ற டிரைவிங் சைக்கிள் வந்து இட் கேன் ஹேப்பன் ஆன் a chassis dynamometer on the road also future future is going to come on the road real time emission வர போகுது that is much more severe we'll have a session on that also we'll have a we'll have a session on the real driving emissions ne okay now this table gives you all the data in the form of a digital form digital form will not tell you the trend we know i told you see that you read it out at 92 it was 18 and for 2020 it was 0.46 okay it's only a number it will not tell you the impact go to the next picture and tell you the impact it will hit you on the face yeah here what is the largest dabba 1991 what i have written below 1991 see there padinga nine uh free acceleration smoke only ah uh, so in 1991 i have personally cleared 12 varieties of engines only based on smoke only only a smoke test and i have cleared in 1991 i have got emission certificate 92 only the you know the stricter started nox hc and co so can you see nox what was the nox in 91 92 uh nox is 18 yeah big yellow dabba can you see that big yellow dabba that big yellow dabba was 92 96 was the green now like that where is the bs6 <clears throat> the center can you see the bs6 now can you see the relative drop assume pannunga அந்த எல்லோ பெரிய எல்லோ டப்பா வர வரைக்கும் ஜூம் பண்ணுங்க ஆ பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஓகே ஒன்று கொஞ்சம் மேலே ஸ்கிரால் பண்ணு ஆ போதும் போதும் பியூட்டிஃபுல் அரே இன் திஸ் ஆடியன்ஸ் ஹூஸ் ஏ யங்கஸ்ட் மேன் தனிஷ் விச் இயர் வே யூ பார்ன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ சார் ஆ எனிபடி ஆஃப்டர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ எனிபடி ஆஃப்டர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ Jonathan sir i am on 2002 only sir which month ha huh. which month jonathan october sir october tanish which month october sir which date eight <laughs> yeah eight eight october is tanish jonathan sir 10th october sir i oh, so you are the youngest <laughs> i tell you what is the target for you i'll put one dot in the where the x and y axis meet and that's a target for you jonathan okay, okay sir how will you meet it sir how will you meet that emission sir. i'm giving you zero emissions as a target how will you meet it sir i can't see anything sir are center dabba uh, bs6 2020 man yes sir Ah, uh, for you, I'll put one dot there in the X and Y where the X and Y meet. I'll just put one dot and say that Jonathan's target. Okay, sir. How will you meet it? Sir, just go to the dot, sir, straight away. <laughs> how? How? You tell me the mechanism. How you'll meet it? <laughs> Not sure, sir. Think, think. Start thinking. You have to start thinking now. Next slide, please. Okay. 
So now we have looked at the air side, the air side quantity and quality of turbulence, you have to just optimize. Then on the fuel side, I got three parameters, timing, pressure, and quantity. On the timing, we have used the full benefit. I started with 30 degrees before top dead center, kept on retarding. Today, I'm injecting the fuel at top dead center. We can't do anything more than that. That's the best we can do. Timing, full benefit you have taken. Then on the pressure side, I started with a fuel injection pressure of 600 bar. Now we are working at 1600 and 1800 bar. So pressure, we are taking the full benefit out of it. Only thing is on the fuel quantity. Jonathan, where, where do you stay, Jonathan? Sir, I am in Palavaram, sir. Palavaram. And where is he? Oh, okay. You are a, and, uh, uh, okay. You are in Palavaram. Yes, sir. But my native is Tutukudi, sir. Tutukudi. Okay. If you travel from Palavaram to Tutukudi, how long do you travel by bus? So it takes nearly 12 hours, sir. 12 hours. Yes, now, sir. Uh, you just we have went through a huge session of emissions. Do you understand emissions is good for uh, human beings or not good? Not good, sir. Okay. So now we have worked on the fuel side. You are an engine expert. Timing you have corrected. Then pressure you have worked out to 1600 bar. Now last step, I have to reduce the quantity of fuel. To reduce yes, the quantity of fuel, your travel time will become 14 hours. Is it okay? No, sir. I think already 12 hours uh, long, sir. No, sir. See, you are an engine expert. You yourself don't want to change. How will the common man change? <laughs> Come on. Next, I'm going to ask you a very hurting question, Jonathan. Timing increases. Ah, timing will definitely increase. You reduce the fuel, slow down, and your timing will increase. No doubt about it. Yes, sir, will you have affection? <laughs> Jonathan, listen carefully to my question. Will you have affection for your grandchildren? No, sir. No, uh. it will affect, sir, but I don't want it to affect, sir. Ah, Abba, tell me, answer my question first. Will you have affection or not? Yes, sir, it will affect, sir. Yes, affect sir. I, I have affection, sir. Yes, sir. I have. Will, you have, will you have affection? Start thinking about them now. Okay, sir. You have to start thinking. It takes time. There's a huge work for all of us, more than for you all, for than for me. Tanish, do you understand my question? Tanish, you are also very close to Jonathan. Tanish, come on. Yes, sir. I understood, sir. Yeah. If you, if you really have affection for the grandchildren, start thinking about them now. Others, you are going to spoil their year. Sir, actually, I Even had... Your children, you can find... I was to my research about one electric bike, sir. Uh, good, good. Start thinking. What yeah. you do is I leave it to you. Everybody, each one of you has got Einstein's capability. Only thing you guys are not bringing it out. I am only pushing it out. Think. There are so many ways to achieve the result. I leave it to you. Sir, uh, may I ask you something, sir? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, actually, uh, in my diploma project, I made one electric bike. So, because of the mm. lockdown and all things, I couldn't get the components, so I couldn't finish it properly. But the motto was mm. to make it self-charging. Electric bike. Mm. Okay. Yes, sir. Go so... Home. Yeah, so in that I want it to uh, like a proper uh, recharging uh, generation, sir. So for that, my question was, how do I uh, multiply the speed using the gear, sir? I want to know about gears, uh, like okay. what what will be the gear ratios? I want to multiply the speed. Uh, Tanish, I want to get more Tanish, rotation. Tanish will do one thing. Tanish and Jonathan, you guys are the youngest guys. You voluntarily came and told me. We'll have a session offline. I'll tell you all how to go about it. Okay, Tanish? Okay, sir. Thank you. Tanish yes. and uh, Jonathan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll start thinking about your grandchildren. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Because now I got some more slides to finish. Let me finish, then we'll do it offline. Yes, sir. Okay, so on the fuel, say, uh, understand, you the yourself, nobody wants to touch the fueling. Everybody wants more power, more power, more power. More power is this. Uh, you, you know what is happening in New York you now yesterday? How much rain has come down? Do you know how, how it is flooding? All that is we have created it, man. Nobody is left out. Germany went in through floods. Assam is going through floods. China is going through floods. Then Russia has gone through floods. 
Italy has gone through floods. Italy is always on the floating. Venice, we don't know when Venice will go down. And we are waiting for China, India, Madras turn. I don't know when Chennai's turn will come. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Thank you. Now, this is an inland fuel pump. In a fuel pump, normally what we do is, I have a camshaft, I have a plunger, and I have a barrel. These are the three main components which is used for increasing the pressure. Okay? So, inline pump has got certain limitations, so we are slowly phasing it out. Next slide, please. Uh, injector. The duty of the injector is to convert the fuel from a liquid state to a vapor state. In the field, if you go ask anybody, uh, ask any mechanic, please bring the injector, he won't know. But if you tell him, uh, please bring the atomizer, he'll immediately know. See, atomization, what happens? See that on the center picture, can you zoom on the see that? And the yet to jet to level, and the yet to jet level, the barna. Ah, beautiful. Can you zoom on the Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Guys, now watch this picture very carefully. Here, the fuel is coming into the cylinder in the form of eight jets. See, when the jet is exiting from the nozzle, it's actually very narrow. But at the end of the jet, it's becoming wide. And at the starting point of the jet, it's liquid. And the end point of the jet, it is vapor. So what is the physics behind it is, as the jet penetrates, you know, the pressure drop, the pressure drop is the one which is creating the atomization. So make a note. Atomization is equal, meaning is converting from liquid to vapor because of pressure drop. Today, I have this pressure drop close, pressure drop close to 1500 bar. Earlier, that pressure drop was only 600 bar. But now the pressure drop is 1500 bar. So the atomization is very good. and mixture formation is very good. Next slide, please. Yeah, this is the injector. Convert some liquid to vapor. These are the nozzles, types of nozzles we have used. Next slide. Yeah, this is the latest, everybody is, uh, uh, everybody is God, common rail system. The common rail system, my first advantage is, I've got constant pressure injection. From the time I start my injection, till the end of injection, it is at constant pressure. Because of which I get very good atomization. You know, how do we achieve this? The common rail works in two distinct uh, circuits. Circuit 1 is only generation of high pressure, fuel tank, the filter, the high pressure pump, and the accumulator rail. Again, I repeat, fuel tank, filter, high pressure pump, and the accumulator rail. This circuit is to only generate high pressure. The second circuit is electronic sensors, electron control unit, and the electric solenoid injectors. This is circuit 2. Circuit 2 duty is only to time and meter the quantity. Again, I repeat, circuit 2 is electronic sensors, electron control unit, and the electric solenoid injectors. Circuit 2 function is timing of the fuel and quantity of the fuel. Next slide, please. Yeah, this is how the main advantage of the inline pump and the common rail pump. See, inline pump is on the left side, where I have a cam which is going to lift the plunger. When the plunger is going up, I have pressure being generated. And when the plunger comes down, I have pressure drop. 
so my injection is on the rise and the fall so the injection is actually at varying pressure but on the right side is a common rail where start of injection and end of injection the pressure remains the constant that's why i call it constant pressure injection so i get very good atomization in addition i can have multiple injections on the inline pump i can have only one injection whereas on the common rail system i can have as many as two pilot injections one main injection and two post injections next slide please ah uh, this is surface preparation of the liner and the ring 1999 we were actually burning ourselves up first time we were supposed to work on particulates we understood that particulates is contributing from fuel as well as oil also lubricating oil then we worked a lot on the liner surface finish and the oil control ring we also added a component called the valve stem seal where it will prevent the oil leaking between the valve and the valve stem guide next slide please okay guys you saw the drop in emissions drop in emissions is from 18 to 0.46 so we were not able to do only corrections inside the cylinder we also had to do some after treatment work after treatment is once the emissions are generated i correct them before they reach the tailpipe today the government norm the government norm is the government doesn't say engine shall not produce emissions the government norm only says the tailpipe the gas is coming out of the tailpipe should be clean so what we do as an after treatment mechanism yes now it's a tough question but anybody answers i'll be very happy anybody in the audience could tell me what is scr anybody in the audience can me tell me what is scr please let us calculate the word tell me what you know prasad come on prasad tell me you are correct it's a catalyst what's up what happens there so in that there are like three layers of uh, reduction of emission sir one is like uh, rhodium palladium and uh, radium so those yeah, layers help us to be petrol engine you're talking about a petrol engine petrol engine has got a three way cat what is this here a very little way, very close come along make an attempt look at the slide you'll get a clue tanuj you want to you want to add tanuj And so in scr we have we got a ammonia reservoir so when we pass the okay. exhaust gas the ammonia comes into place sir uh, there's a reaction taking place between the nox and the ammonia uh, what sort of reaction what sort of reaction what sir what sort of is an oxidation reaction or what reaction is it oxidation reaction oxidation yeah. no it's not oxidation Redu reduction sir reduction good come on uh -huh. come on think think carry on carry on carry on tanuj yeah it reduction sir the so the ammonia combines with the nox and the nox get reduced from that sir and we get only nitrogen and hydrogen in the final output sir hydrogen hydrogen combines with the oxygen again to form water water sir clear good good tanuj good now i'll just tell you see what happens nox is a tremendous drop from 18 to 0.46 so i need an after treatment as tanuj said very rightly what i do is it's the water stored in the tank is a 32.5% urea in water solution ready made this urea solution is sprayed into the exhaust pipe before the scr unit and there this urea solution decomposes to form ammonia and the ammonia goes into the scr unit scr unit is only a dabba where there is a reduction catalyst reduction catalyst in the presence of a reduction catalyst 
the ammonia reacts with the nox and undergoes a reduction reaction removes the oxygen and comes out as nitrogen and steam good tanuj good next slide please ah tanuj to i give you a prize because of your good answer next question back to you what is this tell me what's happening here the the slide says it's a diesel oxidation catalyst hmm see in the scr it was a reduction reaction here what is happening here it is getting oxidized so the hc and cu ah. uh, combine with the oxygen to give uh, water and carbon dioxide sir which are less so, harmful and what that's all that's all nothing else is very simple it's only a chemical battle and here also there's a catalyst any idea what's a catalyst um i don't know about the diesel sir but uh, for the petrol i know it's uh, rhodium palladium and platinum no no you are putting all there's a three way cat petrol has got all three that's why it's uh, you having all in that which is the oxidizing cat it's platinum and palladium platinum palladium is the oxidizing cats that's all good next slide please ah diesel is this tanuj would you like to make an attempt on this tanuj you seem to be good what is this tanuj particulate filter sir it's only a filter are you know hindi हम्म यस सर हाँ घर में चाय बनाएंगे हाँ यस सर वो चा चाय चाहने वाली चन्नी हाँ वो वो पत्थर पर क्या करेंगे चाय पत्थर क्या करेंगे निकाल छान देते सर हाँ किसे किसे निकालेंगे कहीं ना सर दैट्स ऑल यू कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दैट टू यू कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द टीम दैट एग्जांपल कम ऑन Tell them in English. The process is similar to uh, like using a strainer, and when we uh, how to say so? But... Hey, make the tea first, man. Then you say how we remove the tea. Similar is here. Bring it from that side. Oh, okay, sir. The process involved in here is similar uh, to straining a cup of tea, like when we. for the tea in a cup using a strainer the remains of tea powder remains in the strainer same here it is applicable uh, when the gas is passed to a thin strainer that is in microns the particulate matter uh, get fixed in the strainer itself sir. so they don't get along with That's the all. simple see there are nadu padta konja persa ke inda see the clean a irukum मैटर इज सालिड so what happens is the all the gases will permeate through the walls and get out the solid matter that is the black dots see there one konja zoom panna mudiyuma and the wall la veliya permeate avaru nalla theriyum beautiful left left and arrow mark parunga ah avladha that's all guys watch this picture so the gas actually comes in and all the black dots are the particulate the particulate matter is held inside and only the gas is permeate through the wall and go only thing in the diesel particulate filter we have to do what's called a regeneration of the filter regeneration of the filter is be born of the suit 
we sending some extra fuel increase the temperature convert this carbon into co2 and make it go through the wall that's all thank you next slide please sir filtration ku apra and particulate matter la enna sir pannuvanga apdi adhiley da irukuma sir adha wait wait come back come back to the earlier slide ah adhu keela bottom irukku paarenga adha zoom pannunga ah see when the see when at home when the tea powder is getting clogged to the filter we just put it upside down and we tap it now i can't do that here so what i do is when the temperature of the gas goes beyond 200 degrees there is a continuous regeneration beyond 200 degrees what happens is carbon which is solid converts to co2 and passes through the wall again i repeat when the exhaust temperature crosses 200 the carbon which is solid converts to co2 gas and permeates through the wall when the suit building is higher what i do is i put in a certain amount of very small quantity of fuel about 2 or 3 mg into the exhaust pipe before the dock this 2 or 3 mg of diesel nothing else but diesel they go through the dock and inside the dock i have a endo uh, exothermic reaction temperature is built up and the temperature comes to the dpf in the form of a hot gas the gas temperatures will touch close to 550 degrees gas temperatures touch close to 550 degrees and then what happens the carbon converts to co2 and gets out that is called active regeneration so regeneration is two part one is the passive regeneration the other is active regeneration uh, who asked the question sir anand raj sir Ah, uh, clear, Anand. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Clear, sir. Thank you. Next slide, please. Ah, uh, sl. Can you slide start or can I go further? This one is more of gasoline. Next slide, sir. No, slide start or coming? எல்லா ஸ்லைடும் வரும்ல பாருங்க ஆ ஓகே ஓகே இல்ல சார் ஜூம் டவுன் மோட்லயும் அந்த மாதிரி வரல சரி சரி இப்போ எந்த ஸ்லைட்ல இருக்கோம் சார் ரைட் நவ 38th ஸ்லைட் சார் ஒன்னு கீழ வாங்க ஒன்னு கீழ வாங்க ஸ்கிரால் டவுன் பண்ணுங்க இந்த இப்போ வந்துருச்சு சார் இதெல்லாம் கேசலின் இதெல்லாம் கேசலின் இதுக்கு இருக்காங்க ஆ அந்த அந்த இருங்க 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 ஆ அந்த அந்த படம் இருக்கு அந்த கார் படம் இருக்கு அங்க வாங்க technical stuff is more or less over now i have to reach out for these people and the car padam kondu vanga ah this is slide mode kondu vandirunga guys for the entire team this is the message zoom pannunga nadula ortha nadandu poran paarenga avan theriyira mari zoom pannunga guys can you see that this wall what we are doing this yes, is not crazy one person sitting in a car one person sitting in a car and occupying so much our road space this is where all of you will have to start thinking we talk about car pooling we talk about smaller cars we talk about transport if necessary all that you guys will have to wake up otherwise i tell you what when you guys i am not threatening you i am only i am only cautioning you Naren I can see Naren on the screen Naren can you see you Naren for a moment Yes will you have affection for your grandchildren Naren 
yes sir uh see just you just think back you may be fighting or you may be quarreling with the very very then naren don't run away you can be quarreling yes, with your parents have you ever quarreled with your grandparents no yes, sir uh see uh-huh. even sometimes you know your father may come and start yelling at you but what will happen what will happen to the grandparent what will they do they realize them ah and they they ulle vandruvaanga theriyuma tamil theriyuma naren ah therin sir therin sir appa satham pottaanga kuda tata am paati enna pannuvaanga nadula vandruvaanga la aama sir vandha enna pannuvaanga onna onna protect panniruvaanga solli samajha ah yes sir solli samajhiruvaanga sir ah see that is how so you must understand you may you guys may quarrel with your next is next generation but will you quarrel with you have a more affection for your grandchildren or for your children so start thinking about them now anything ni bike pandre electric bike pandre ya solar bike pandre ya nadandu poriya i am not worried about it but start thinking the capability is you have you met abdul kalam naren us Ah, uh, so but uh, so if you have not met Abdul Kalam, obviously he has not met you, right? Yes, sir. But without meeting you, you know how much trust he has put in all of you all. You know what Abdul Kalam has said? Future of all... India is you guys. You have to take on the future. Yeah. Take on. Yes, sir. Thank you, Narin. I am very Thank serious you, in what I am trying to tell you. Narin, you heard it, which is that? When I now put this in the discussion, I need a recall. Panuva. Next slide, please. Okay. Now, beautiful slide. Now, I want Jonathan and I want Tanish to come on the line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jonathan, you want the left top picture or the right top picture, Jonathan? Uh. Sir, the left one, sir. You want two grandchildren? <laughs> <laughs> see there, zoom button. Go see there. Let's see how Jonathan looks on looks later. Unna zoom button. So Jonathan, see how look at the look at them look at them. Are they happy, Jonathan? Sir, when I look at the picture, I am happy. Ah, I don't know about the reality, sir. Ah, reality. Work for this. Start working now. I'm giving you a caution. I'm just triggering you. Yes, sir. Look at them. They are hugging. They are. They are hanging from the necks and see both of them. Look at their grandchildren. Are they happy? I'm, I'm, the grandparents are obviously happy. Look at the grandchildren. Are they happy? No, sir. Yeah, they are. They are not. They are happy, man. In the picture, they are happy, sir. But the, the real children, children. In the picture, the children, children, are they happy? They are happy, sir. In the they are no, happy. Maybe, we'll have to start thinking about them now. Now moving on to Tanishk. Which one, left top or right top, Tanishk? So same as Jonathan said, sir. Left one. Left one. Okay, good. All are under under pair. Be happy, man. Good luck. Start thinking. Start thinking now. Yes, sir. Next slide, see there. ஜோனஸ்ட் Okay, Jonathan, I, I'll tell you, what, uh, slide on there, Sridhar. Sridhar, what I want to do is, I'm going to, you, I want you to take this oath on behalf of your team. Okay? okay I'm reading it, right? I want you to repeat after that. Jonathan, come on, Sridhar, you're going to be on the video. Okay. I want to, uh, Jonathan, come on the video. Can you see me, sir? Yes. Yeah, I can see you. Jonathan, can you see me? Yes, sir. I can. Okay, see. now I'll start reading. We, we, as members of Team India, as members of Team India, India, would strive to work, would strive to work for the, for the interest of the nation, interest of the nation, 
and the society and the society we promise to keep ourselves we promise to keep ourselves technically strong technically strong mentally alert mentally alert morally straight morally straight and it would also be a part and it would also be a part in creating an in creating an ecologically ecological sustainable environment sustainable environment vanakkam vanakkam sir peter over to you for the remaining three slides all yours sir thank you for uh, coming on uh, to our college and uh, you know disseminating uh, all this uh, mumbo jumbo about uh, engines disseminating in very uh, small chunks so that everyone can understand and uh, before i close uh, any students want to uh, you know have a interaction with the uh, guest here any questions regarding the presentation or any questions regarding the ic engine so far so me yes go ahead tanesh yeah so as i asked you before i want to learn about uh, like know about gear ratio sir hmm. tanesh yes sir tanesh i'll tell you it's a deep topic okay. yeah okay sir uh, you i uh, I may make a note on my phone number nine eight four one four. Just a minute, sir. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Nine eight four one four three six five. Yes, sir. Eight two. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Tanishk, I am yes, cautioning sir. you. Yes, sir. You will be stuck with me. Yes, sir. i won't let you go <laughs> i want guidance sir that's it that i'll give you but i'll pu- keep on pushing you you're ready for that yes sir i want that good anybody else any questions sir i have one question so long see that see now we have uh, all the purification material right after the combustion why not purify it in uh, front of the combustion i don't want nitrogen i'll just only inject uh, cl- clean up the nitrogen and send only oxygen now i know this is uh, some of the students uh, which are cordial with me had asked this so uh, i know i have explained it i want you to take a stage sir okay well, is there any one person who asked that question here no sir not here sir okay Let's see uh, then on on behalf of the other students yes. i'll catch tanishk Tanish, come. You be the uh, you be the vakil for them. <laughs> okay, sir. You understood the question. What uh, Sridhar asked? Uh, not clearly, sir. May I have it again? What I'll tell you. Uh, Sridhar, tell me, Sridhar. See, yes. uh, instead of uh, injecting or uh, taking him all the air, combusting okay. and sending it out, why not okay. filter out nitrogen? why not filter out unwanted uh, this thing and send only oxygen see uh, f- fuel needs only uh, fuel oxygen the, then the combustion happens right yes, why sir. do we need other gla- gases why can't we filter out in the f- first stage itself now that's a deep psychological question i uh, are very simple na simple a solli tharan in kavale padu panish come on first your chance so uh... as we need all those uh, like like uh, in front in starting stage if we do the filtration there is chances that uh, we might lose like oxygen maybe or like we uh, we can get jumble with the order of the gases in the present air so it's not like uh, feasible to do the filtration in the first stage itself now we can think about like after the all the exhaust uh, exhaust stroke has been done and exhaust is been coming out we can maybe filter at that at the last moment and maybe send it out actually also those projects okay. are also are there so yeah maybe no it's not that it is it's totally different i'll ask you a question tanishk oh, in yes, corona sir. second wave we yes, all struggled for some some uh, what did we struggle for we we couldn't go out sir 
No, no, oxygen, that is okay. Sir. But in the hospitals, what is the shortage item? Oxygen, sir. Oxygen. Now, our oxygen, I tell you, is it possible for us to remove the oxygen from the air, pure oxygen? Uh, maybe not, sir. I don't know if it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Otherwise, I mean, medical oxygen is there, man. Medical oxygen is clear. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, we can extract, sir. See, it is possible. It is yeah. possible. Only thing, it'd be very expensive. Yeah, we can extract, sir. No, so, we can. We can. Uh, what uh, Mr. Sridhar wanted, only oxygen, look, it can happen. But let me ask another question. Between the Tanishk and myself, we'll get the answer for the entire team. Tanishk, what is the compression ratio for diesel engine? Diesel engine, uh, I guess. Typical. Tell me what comes from it. 17 is to uh, 1, maybe. How many? How many? 17 is to 1. Am I right, sir? 70 or 17? 17, sir. 17. Right, correct, correct. Hey, you are yeah. very near 16.5. I'm working on 16.5 is to 1. Yeah, okay. Thanks. This is 16.5 is to 1 is the compression ratio. Why yes, do you sir. need that compression ratio? Uh, for, a, for a balance equation for combustion, sir. We need oh, that much. No, 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 no. When you compress the air, what happens to the pressure? It increases, sir. Uh, when the pressure increases, what happens to the temperature? It increases. Ah, you want the high compression or you want the high temperature for ignition? Actually, we need high compression, sir, because uh, we need... Ah, we need only the temperature. Okay, okay. Yeah, temperature. See, the cause is the, cause is the uh, pressure. The effect is the temperature. Please understand cause and effect. Okay, sir. Okay. So, I, I, as I, I 16.5 parts of air is compressed to 1. So then the pressure increases and the temperature increases. Yes. Now this is 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen. Clear? Yes, sir. See, air constituent is 71% nitrogen and 21% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Now if you are going to remove 78% of the nitrogen, what will happen to the volume? How do I get that temperature? Yeah, exactly. Volume will decrease, sir. Oh, uh, so I can get that. I can get that uh, compression. Then what will happen? My combustion bowl will become very small. Yes, sir. Understand? Yeah. So first is I not get the compression ratio. Yes, sir. The compression ratio will be different. Ah, see there. Got the answer? Yes, sir. So see, we remove we remove the nitrogen, send only the oxygen. Meeting the compression ratio and igniting uh, temperatures are next to impossible. So let sir, us say I have external. Yeah. Yes, sir. So like uh, one query I can get on this, sir. Uh, obviously, uh, if we re uh, remove all nitrogen from that, the volume will get decreased. Okay. So, but uh, if we have like uh, proper oxygen cylinders, so we can send that much amount of oxygen, right? So can't we get the compression ratio? No, no, no. Mixture formation is easy for me. The fuel and the oxygen I can mix and no problem. But how will I get the ignition? Okay, sir. Today the air, the air temperature after compression will be around about 250 degrees, or some more than that, around about 300 degrees. And that the auto ignition temperature of diesel is 250 ignites. Yes, sir. Okay, now that is the first part of the answer. The second part of the answer is. Assuming that I put only oxygen and diesel and I form a mixture and then what will happen is with so then the mixture becomes rich or lean. Tanish? Rich sir. Rich. A rich mixture temperatures are higher or lower? Burning temperatures. Um, rich uh, obviously high sir. Ah, obviously high. So when you have a rich mixture and you have burning temperature very high, what will happen to the piston material? Okay, okay, yeah, it will damage, sir, because of the... Piston will just melt and go away, man. Yes, sir. See, it's a, have you heard about an oxyacetylene flame? Uh, yes, sir, I know that. Oxy oh, that's all. That's what yes, will happen. See, what will happen is the pistons cannot take it. Okay, sir. Yeah, you it. cannot ignite it, first of all. Even if you ignite it, the pistons will not take it. Yes, sir. Understood. Guys, yeah. 
are you guys are clear with the technical discussion it's not a answer it's a discussion yes sir completely got it sir agreed yes, sir yes sir got it sir any more questions please any more questions from the students or audience yenma vanda ninga introduce pandreengala enna avada solunga unga part so uh, to say about sir i have gone through uh, uh, his lecture about diesel engines so sir as uh, in 1977 itself when he graduated iit madras he has done a project on hydrogen engine using hydrogen as a fuel to run an engine it is a uh, me project so after which sir has gone into ashok leyland as a product development division and then from there he has been uh, elevated uh, into emission conformance and then uh, he has been uh, with ashok leyland for all these years designing developing conforming standards and uh, out uh, fitting it into a product is his entire uh, portfolio he is through and through an uh, engine person and anywhere you can take a uh, take a question he will be taken uh, right through the engine that's what uh, sir uh, like to describe so if there are any questions to uh, ask sir go ahead or we will wind up the meeting so this is sir one of uh, achievement engine run on hydrogen the, the it's a newspaper clipping on uh, 1977 and uh, his thesis has been uh, produced first time in india so running uh, running engine on hydrogen is a very uh, specific topic uh, because hydrogen uh, creates more uh, uh, hydrogen is very uh, heat producing engine but uh, producing hydrogen is very tough now that's uh, i like to say the killer ka the padinga killer ka the padinga romba important ஜி <laughs> or uh, let us put it uh, disseminating uh, whatever right in front of uh, sir so sir can disseminate uh, ic engines today so uh, any, uh, i think tanish ask another question sir why can't we sub- add the slide one irukku paarenga adhe paathunga illa adhu kattu ah so Uh, the latest edition of ashok leyland family is lcv lcv means light commercial vehicle is the dost a dost uh, is the name uh, they are uh, com- light commercial vehicles is usually 1 and 1/2 tons 2 tons those kind of vehicles uh, are called uh, payload capacity are called light commercial vehicles so, sir has played uh, for 14 months uh, uh, it stands for uh, P15 stands for Prakash and uh, 15 indicates uh, 1.5 liter engine capacity. The engine is named after him, P15. So that is his uh, contribution to uh, today's society as well as Ashok Lailan. So this is the final slide, I guess. That's it. Here the message is, my internal fires are still burning 77 yes my project came in the papers first page center column this happened in 2007 close to 35 years later i still my fires are not died guys i want all of you all i want all of you all i want all of you all to follow your passion follow your passion put in a hard sincere work and you will definitely come out successful please take on you guys are the future you guys are the future you guys are the future namaste thank you sir for uh, coming here and enlightening us
So I will conclude with a vote of thanks, sir. I am deeply in depth with you to, uh, uh, to bring you here, disseminate knowledge to our students and thereby guiding them as well as, uh, uh, I think uh, Madhavan sir has came, uh, separating oxygen is co costlier and also equipment size is heavier. Okay, uh, Madhavan sir is working on uh, emission. Uh, his PhD, uh, PhD thesis is on emission reduction. So uh, he is as well joined in. So with this, I will conclude uh, the meeting. Thank you uh, all. Thank you for your time. And thank you, sir, for uh, uh, coming into uh, our session today, enlightening us. Thank you, sir.